100% credit where credit is due. 100%. Now, George Webb, right? George Webb. George Webb, the Oracle, right? Called this year, he called this almost a year or two ago, right? Right now, in the White House, the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, duly elected and sworn in President, 45, what is he, 44? I don't know. President of the United States of America is in hot pursuit of the Imran Awan debacle, right? The Pakistani mystery man in Congress, right? Now, why does George get credit? Because George led us to it, right? Okay, there's a video of Senator Grassley, everything George was saying was being revealed in some form or another at the congressional level. Senator Grassley did a, a breathless few minutes on the existence of a Pakistani spy ring, of this guy accessing stuff, right? But when senators speak, the problem is that nobody listens to them because they're all a bunch of liars, right? They lie, 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 and then suddenly a truth comes out and nobody listens. Everybody misses it. Right? But George Webb right, <clears throat> is said to us, he said that <clears throat> the, uh, Trump still hasn't said the name Imran Awan, and he certainly hasn't given credit where credit is due. And that's not the point of this. This video is not to blow smoke up a reporter's ass. It's to, it's to, to, to talk about the fact that the story is so important, Imran Wan, and that one of our people, one of our own, George Webb, is almost wholly responsible for keeping the story alive. George sued in D.C. He brought names into the mix. He, he, he kept that jack off, Luke Rosiak, <laughs> hack off. Not a jack off. He's not a jack off. He's a hack off. Luke Rosiak at the Daily Caller. Um, you know, who Fox News loves to get on the show. And, and Luke just spits out the facts. It's wonderful, right? Right? That's all, but that's all George Webb's push, right? George Webb told us, not only did he tell us about Imran Awan, but he also said that McCabe, he told us who McCabe was. He, he educated all of us. You think we, you think that, 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 that every, that, that McCabe suddenly would have become topical if it wasn't for George Webb? You think so? I don't think so. George Webb was talking about, he said, Andy McCabe. Now, George twists the story. Who knows if it's fic fiction or fan fantasy or real? Who knows? But the fact is, did Andy McCabe have a personal vendetta against George Webb? Who the fuck knows? That's, that's you know, that's that may be the bottle talking, but the, the fact is, that George said we need to get we need to get Donald Trump to say Imran Awan and and McCabe. I don't know if he said that, but he the, the bottom line is George Webb deserves the deserves the uh, Pulitzer for this, right? Because he's got the president he's got the president of the United States in hot pursuit, almost ready to fire the Attorney General Jeff Sessions over this mess because that's who it falls on. In New York it's it was uh, Eric Schneiderman who was the AIG and it, AG, IG, Attorney General, right? Uh, the AG, and Attorney General, right? And they're responsible for pursuing the crimes when presented to them, right? Right? So it's Jeff Sessions head, whose head will roll for not for being informed of Imran Awan's case, and then letting letting the the you know the the Jackoff's uh, what's his name Chris Gowan the the lawyer have run of the court. Right? That's how the, that's how the Democrats handle it. Chris Gowan the run of the run of the mill. They had they had full full court <laughs> home court advantage. Right? Who's Chris Gowan? Chris Gowan is was Imran Awan's lawyer. But who is Chris Gowan? Chris Gowan is Bill Clinton's lawyer. <sighs> Again, the Clintons.
fucking unbelievable. So that's all I want to say is that uh, George Webb gets 100% unequivocal credit for getting the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, fully engaged in the Imran Awan tobacco. And let's see where it goes. I mean, let's not, let's not rest on our laurels, right? You know, and again, George has, see this is, it's principles before personalities, right? George, you know, I, I mean, I watched it when he, when he had his, had the uh, crowdsource people call, call in a dirty bomb in the, uh, you know, in, in North Carolina, whatever that was, right? I mean, that was just high drama television, YouTube. And what else did he do? I mean, he, he had, he claimed that, that the, the S, S, you know, the, the, the uh, unions in New York City were attacking him in, in his hotel room. And that they had two thugs corner him in a, in a, you know, corner him in the elevator, and he had to escape. Right? And he had that crazy guy from Brooklyn drive him to the Manhattan. I mean, it was just, it's just, it's classic stuff. But it's it's entertaining, and it makes it made us aware. But what comes out of it is, is total American awareness of who Andy McCabe is. Total American awareness, right at the top. Whether all the, the let all the Democratic, you know, pay-for-play politicians decide to get on the bandwagon and actually pursue justice is, an, is another story. But the fact is that Donald Trump is educating the masses right now on a Pakistani mystery man as a result of whole or in part the efforts of George Webb, the street, the, the street uh, reporter. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. George, if you see this, if you're watching, I'll be in D.C. next week. I would love to interview you. I get to ask the questions. I ask the questions, George. Friendly. Peace out.